is up everyone? The show Alexandria. How you guys doing on this Corona Sunday? Um, I don't want to joke about it, but you know, you gotta laugh, you gotta joke, you gotta joke in order not to cry. So anyway, it's it's a little sad because any other day I will be any other week I will be flying heading out to Las Vegas today, trying to attend CinemaCon and CinemaCon was cancelled so my vacation is cancelled and I don't know what to do with myself this week other than do my day job but I plan to I plan on being out of town this week so I wrapped up everything I was supposed to be working on for the next two weeks last week <laughs> so I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing this week but that's neither here nor there, nor there. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm actually doing quite perfectly doing this. I mean, I'm a shut-in anyway. I don't like to go out. I would like to complain about not going out, but I'm a bit, I stay home and binge watch stuff all the time. So I've been catching up on a lot of my TV screeners and all that kind of fun stuff. Lots of cool stuff that I watched last week and I can't talk about it for like a month. So that's really frustrating because there are things I'm dying to talk about and write about because I really want to get back into writing um, reviews and everything and I just can't talk about anything. Um, but I watched like five different show, five different brand new upcoming shows in the last few days and it's funny because PR people are going, Michelle, in their, in, their, in their press releases, they're like, oh, it's the Corona binge. We have all these screenings available like months early, so you can actually watch all this stuff and get all your reviews prepared. You know, like, you guys should have been doing that a long time ago, not just because of Corona. <laughs> so, so, yeah, but everything's under embargo, so I can't talk about it. But what I can talk about are movies that I would love to see. Uh, put it on the, on the 4K platform that I think would be amazing on 4K. And I'm going to go from IMDb to uh, look at the camera you know, to pick out some of my favorite movies that no one, that people rarely, rarely talk about and people should talk about because when they were out, they were huge movies. So there is an audience for this stuff. I just wish they would get like nice, fancy 4K releases. So the first movie. I'm picking is JFK, Oliver Stone's JFK, back into the left, back into the left, starring Kevin Costner as as attorney Jim Garrison. He's a he was a Houston attorney attorney who investigated the murder of JFK, and it had it has a memorable performance by uh, Joe Joe Pesci and uh, and. Uh, and Kevin Bacon. It's an amazing movie. It really is. It's one of my favorite movie movies. But it's not a movie I'll watch over and over again because honestly, it gives me nightmares. I don't know why, but it's not at all a horror movie. But it gives me nightmares. Just the fact that you know they killed Jeff K. and they got away with it. And and it's just so well put together. And Oliver Stone does not get enough love. I know he's a nut bag, but. I love that guy. I love every one of his movies, and I think every one of his movies should be getting 4K updates. Like Platoon would be amazing. Uh, Platoon would be amazing. Born on the Fourth of July would be amazing. I think that's the name of Born on the Fourth of July with Tom Cruise would be absolutely amazing. Uh, Natural Born Killers would be amazing on 4K. He, the guy was like at the top of his game when he made JFK. And I don't know what happened to him because we don't see him anymore. Um, any given Sunday was outstanding. All of that stuff would be look absolutely outstanding on the 4K platform. But out of all those Oliver Stone movies, the one I would like to see is the three and a half hour director's cut of JFK on 4K. Now, my next movie is going to be, let me go over here to IMDb, type it in so I can make sure I get the cast right, Gordon. So the, so the next movie that would be amazing on the 4K platform would be the classic Flash Gordon, 1980s Flash Gordon with, uh, let me scroll down, the great Sam J. Jones as Flash Gordon. And Flash Gordon is my all-time favorite hero slash story. I love him in any medium. I love this so old sci-fi channel show Flash Gordon that was like they sadly only lasted a year. I actually visited the set for that, talked to the cast. It was an amazing experience. But I know it was on so many levels it was kind of a terrible 
cheaply made show, but if you listen to the set, they put some money in that set. Um, and I love the TV show. I love the 1980s movies. I love the comics that they did for like five, that lasted five or six issues back in the day. I would love it if someone did a revival either in comic book form, TV shows, just one of those properties that's sitting out there and would be amazing, revitalized, revived. But if we can't get that, why can't we get sent? Why can't we get the late, the great Sam J. Jones as Flash Gordon in glorious 4K? Imagine how beautiful that would look. And then you would have like the Queen, the amazing Queen soundtrack bumping, going, Flash, ah, Savior of the Universe. So yeah, Flash Gordon, come on now. And the, the thing I don't like about it is it's now wide, it's not artificially in, in the widescreen black bar aspect ratio where the original release of this was the beautiful, glorious full screen. And I would love to get that version cleaned up and put on the 4K platform. Next up, let me go back to IMDb, but I don't need to IDM, IDBM this next movie. But the next movie is... Uh, I'm doing all of this off the cuff, but the next movie is The Great. Here, let me let me see if I can type it and just look at you guys. Can I do that? Am I that good? The, the, I'm trying. I'm avoiding saying it, but then it's The Great, Pretty Woman with Julia Roberts came out in 19 what 1990. I thought this movie was older than that because all the versions of this movie are really horrible. I mean, it's old, it's grainy, looks like it was cheaply filmed, so, and it was one of the most popular rom-coms ever made. Richard Gere, Julia Roberts, we all know the story of Pretty Woman, I don't have to tell you. And then you had that amazing Roy Orbison song. Imagine that going in your brand new Dolby Atmos speakers going around and saying, Pretty Woman. Walking down the streets and you see Julia Roberts in her outfit <laughs> and Richard Gere cl climbing up the ladder at the end of the movie <laughs> with the best view. I love that movie so much and I watched it so many times even in its crappy current form. Um, so it could definitely do with the spit polish uh, drop on 4K HDR. That would be absolutely amazing. And then let me go to another one that most people don't think about and sleep on the usual suspects is one of the all-time great uh mystery mystery movies with kevin kevin spacey so one of the all-time great movies usual suspects came out in 1995 stars uh, directed by brian singer who i've always loved he went on to do do s-men s2 one of the greatest superhero movies of all time then yes He's the, he's the one who did the Brandon Ross Superman Returns. I love Brian Singer so much. And he also did the great X-Men Days of Future Past as well. So Brian Singer is awesome. And I wish he did more stuff. He's been doing a lot of TV lately. So he did uh, Legion, The Gifted, um, Battle Creek, uh, Black Box, and some other things. But the, but the usual suspect was his... I think one of his first movies when he just burst onto the scene with that movie and it's amazingly crafted, well-written story. This is a movie that necessarily doesn't need a 4K transfer because the HD version is good enough and you're not going to notice much difference with the 4K transfer. But this is just a movie recommend recommendation too. So if you're binging, these are some movies you can you should actually be watching during, during your time off and catching up on. So, what are we talking about? The Usual Suspects, Yes, Flash Gordon, Pretty Woman. Those are some movies you guys could be watching in any format. Now, next up will be The Great. And this one is kind of a cheat because it was announced last week that it actually, it was announced recently that it is coming to the 4K, uh, to the 4K format. And that would, of course, be the Mask of Zorro. There are two Zorro movies with Antonio Banderas. There's the Mask of, Mask of Zorro and I forgot what the other one was, but it's the Mask of Zorro, Zorro and I believe the other one was uh, The Legend of Zorro. So there were two Zorro movies. Uh, the Legend of Zorro is, is I think the, the first one, 
No, the, the Mask of Zorro is the first one, and The Legend of Zorro is the sequel. Um, amazing movie. I'm a huge fan of Zorro as a hero, and I love The Long Ranger, too, so I would love for The Long Ranger to come to the 4K format. And I'm talking about the original. Actually, even the Johnny Depp version would be good, <laughs> I, I suppose. Um, but those are two characters I really love, and there's actually a crossover comic book called uh, Zorro Meets The Long Ranger or something that came out from Boom Studios, I'm thinking, like, eight or nine years ago that was really good um so yeah the Zor the two Zorro movies with Antonio Banderas would look amazing on a 4k format because there's a lot of great set pieces in those two movies and if you could clean them up put them on a 4k format mwah, be those things would be beautiful and they actually they actually are coming out in I think June after we get that of course Tron come on Disney what Tron, you had the original, one of the Trons are for it on, on Disney Plus service, but you don't have both of them? Come on, why don't, what are you doing, Disney? What are you doing? Why isn't Tron um, available in 4K Dolby Vision? Both of them. I want both of them on 4K. They will be amazing on the 4K platform. After that, come on, my next pick is an obvious one, is Footloose. Kevin Bacon, you get that amazing soundtrack on it. On your Adobe Atmos with the Kenny Loggins, foot loose, foot loose, kick up, and you get your come on, feel the noise, girls rock the boy, whoa, 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 come on, how can you not have foot loose on 4K HDR? Granted, it's not one of those movies with eye popping visuals and would look amazing on 4K HDR. It wouldn't be a showcase for the format, but I think for the audio, that soundtrack would be kicking in DTS surround sound. Imagine that. That would be awesome. It really, really would. So, foot loose. And then we have, I'm going to do two more, and then I may do another rambling video with this subject. And we have Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. I love me some Calvin Costner. I think in my, between this one and my last video, I picked almost all the Kevin Costner's heyday movies that need to be available on 4K. And I know at the time, fanboys hated uh, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. But again, that's another one of those seminal characters that I will always love in any format, no matter how they do it. There was a BBC series called Robin Hood, I believe, um, that lasted three seasons. Love that series to death. It was awesome. And they did some weird stuff in the third season, which, which after the main character, main actor left the show. I'm like, you're Robin Hood. How can you leave the show? And so, I, so they had to scramble to come up with some other stuff. But yeah, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, with Kevin Costner and Morgan Freeman, would be amazing on 4K. Lots of great action scenes. It's an old school uh, movie that will really benefit from that would could really showcase. The 4K format, especially when you had the arrows kind of like going through the, going flying through the air, and it was the first movie that actually used kind of like that arrow view where they mounted the air, they mounted another camera, something on the air, on the arrows as they went through, as they shot them, and it made for some amazing footage, and it was one of the first times they did that. So Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, would be awesome. And then I'm gonna close with. Another old, or two more oldies, but goodies. Young Guns. Come on now, Young Guns with Emilio Estevez. Hold on, and let me, this is a funny story, but let me go and look it up, because I don't want to butcher the cast, but Young Guns with Emilio Estevez, Kiefer Sutherland, um, my boy, um, and I'm, I'm blanking on his name now, and I talked to him about this movie, too. Uh, uh, it's killing Blue Diamond Phillips. Um, so basically, come on, you had Emilio Estevez, Kiefer Sutherland, Lou Diamond Phillips, Charlie Sheen, Jack Palance. I mean, come on, how can you not love Young Guns? And of course, the sequel, Young Guns 2, both movies have to be on the 4K format. They will look amazing on the format. And it's a funny story. I interviewed Lou Diamond Phillips for another movie two years ago. He was in a movie where they were trapped in the cave. I forgot the name of it. But I interviewed Lou Diamond Phillips. And the question I asked him out of all the questions I could have asked him is, can we please get a sequel to Young Guns? And he just looked at me. He was like, we all died. And I'm like, oh, it's the modest. 
It's the modern movie making stuff. You can come up with some reasonable explanation to explain why you lived, and he totally laughed at that. So that was a pretty awesome moment for me because I've always loved Lou Diamond Phillips. And these are all these people at their peak Brat Pack heyday. Young Guns, 1 and 2. 4K, make that happen. Make me happen, people. And finally, for this long rambling video, and I actually have like 80 movies that I've picked out for this entire list that I can go through, but for now, oh man, I want to talk about four more movies, but I got to cut it somewhere. So let's go with, ooh, what should we go with? What should we go with, people? Out of this huge list, I'm going to go with, let me type it in. Is since I don't have a lot of my black my black films represented on today's list, and I have a huge number of uh, black films on this list, but come on, we got to go with one of the, another superhero film, Blade. Come on, people! It came out nineteen ninety eight. One of the movies, one of the Moot Foundation movies that helped revitalize the whole superhero genre, starring Wesley Snipes. Come on, Snipes. Snipes, I can't speak. Uh, so, starring Wesley Snipes as Blade. Imagine how great that movie would look on 4K, especially once you clean up the black levels and everything else. And it looks, and it was shot on film. So, Blade would be amazing. I think Blade would look amazing on 4K on 4K HDR, um, especially with all the black levels against the you know the various background details. Now, in the sequels two and three, I can take or leave. But I'm a completist, so of course I want all three Blade movies to be on 4K HDR. But let's start with just getting us Blade on on the on the fabulous 4K HDR format. So those are some of my picks. This has been a rambling video, but I just wanted to kind of talk to people for now because I'm holed up here. I'm holed up in my in my in my fabulous fake New York condo. Actually, I'm not in New York, so. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Hope you guys are doing well. Tell me what you guys are binging. As always, be nice in the comments or, you know, I'll delete any kind of angry or rude comments or all that kind of fun stuff. But be nice. Also, if you go to the website, the Gonkong Eclipse Magazine .com, and follow me at Eclipse Magazine on Twitter, we have a new contest that we just launched. Courtesy of the fine folks at Lionsgate, we have a five movie pack to give away that's going to feature uh, women directors. So it features Bombshell, uh, Twilight, uh, some other things here. Let me go look it up on the website. Again, it's EclipseMagazine.com. So you go to EclipseMagazine.com and here, let me see if I can find out. Oh, and Ellen John is doing a concert tonight on Sunday, March 29th, for iHeartRadio. Oh, Lady Gaga. You see, sometimes it's really weird when I look at my website and I'm like, I don't even know what's on my website most of the time because I don't write as much as I need to and I want to get back to it. But I'm going to go uh, again, Eclipse Mag you go to EclipseMagazine.com, that's E-C-L-I-P-S-E Magazine.com. And the contest is we're giving away a Women's History Month digital code pack. Now, technically, Lionsgate gave us one code for each of the following movies. A uh, Simple Favor, The Spy Who Dumped Me, The Hunger Games, and the movie Bombshell with Charlize Theron. So we have a digital code each, one digital code each for each of those movies. However, I'm just going to combine it into one prize pack and one lucky winner will get that. We're going to run the contest to the end of the week. And just the rule is just follow me on Twitter at Eclipse Magazine. Send me a DM. Let me know you want it. And more than likely you will win this because, hey, not a lot of people watch these videos. A lot of people, are, not a lot of people are visiting the site these days, so I'm going to start heavily promoting the site over the next few months. You won't be able to escape me! And then I'm also working on a couple of secret projects that I hope to announce in the next couple of months. So I've been putting them off, but all this downtime at home, I can now kind of work on some of that kind of stuff. So I will have announcements in the next, in the next few weeks about that. But anyway, leave a comment in this women's directory directors myself. Tell me who your favorite women's 
a female-led movie is or, you know, what director or whatever. Just let's talk, let's celebrate women, women in film this month. And actually, it's kind of sad because I was supposed to launch this two weeks ago and I just got to it this week. And Women's History, Women's Film History Month is basically over Tuesday. But on Tuesday, I will have the Star Wars box set. So I will do an unboxing of that on Tuesday. Originally, I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to get it on time because I will be in Las Vegas when it arrives. But I'm here now. So there you go. <laughs> so talk to you guys later. Bye.